Welcome to another episode of the When to Pick series. Today's episode is on a jungler who's always a rock solid choice, Jungle Malphite. Jungle Malphite is one of the most specific but powerful counterpick oriented junglers in the game. He's a straight out armor tank that can single handedly demolish certain team compositions and is arguably one of the best initiators in the game. Malphite is rather average in all aspects of jungling as he's pretty much passable in clearing speed, early dueling and sustain, and his ganks suck before level 6. He's like the B student of junglers. His ganks can become very powerful though once he obtains his ultimate as it's both a gap closer and an AoE knockup. He is notable for being able to gank bottom lane easily once he obtains his ultimate as his initiation plus the attack speed shred from his ground slam makes it difficult for the enemy dual lane to consider even fighting back. While Malphite is a tank and an initiator and those jobs are coveted by teams, his weaknesses are rather pronounced that he becomes a very risky first pick. To add to that, the enemy team will likely just avoid picking champions that will be countered by Malphite, which in turn just makes your pick entirely pointless. It is more ideal to pick him as last as possible so you can check to see if you would complement your team composition with his initiation powers, but more so you can see if the enemy team has any champions that you would absolutely counter. Malphite is strong against team compositions that are melee heavy or they have champions that are rely on attack speed. He is strong to pick against champions such as Jax, Aurelia, Xin Zhao, most non-duelist marksmen, and Nocturne. His attack speed shred from his ground slam absolutely wrecks their damage potential. He does have a few weaknesses that can be taken advantage of, such as his crappy pre-6 ganking. His opponents can then just pick early game dominating champions and crush Malphite's teammates before he has a chance to even assist them. This makes it risky to pick Malphite into a team composition that has no early game power. He also tends to be weak versus magic heavy teams as they delay his uh, proper itemization and though he can you know, work against them, it just kind of delays his power. The simplicity of Malphite's ultimate allows him to fit into almost any combat oriented team composition. He leans more towards combat teams that center around AoE, but any combat team works. However, as far as specific champions go, he's insane with Orianna and Yasuo, as they both have ultimates that perfectly sync up with his own. Lee Sin and Malphite can combine their attack speed shreds to pretty much render any attack speed reliant champion useless. As it was already mentioned, he is weak versus magic heavy team compositions and ergly aggro comps. He is also weak versus mobility heavy team compositions, more so of those that have blinks and dashes rather than movement speed. And he's really bad against Janna, as two of her abilities can stop his ultimate, so just avoid picking him against Janna. His builds are mostly reactionary, and as such, he has no real core build. In most cases though, he wants to obtain cooldown reduction as soon as possible, as he's heavily reliant on his ultimate in order to make plays. If he was picked as a counter to a physical or attack speed heavy team, then Frozen Heart becomes the absolute best item, as it gives him armor, cooldown reduction, and the attack speed debuff works well with his own attack speed shred. In most cases, Malphite will be just stacking armor, such as Randuin's Omen or Sunfire Cape, while only having Vanshee his bail for magic resistance as its passive can help prevent his ultimate from being stopped before it takes effect. Now let's go over some of the things we learned about jungle Malphite. Malphite is purely a counter-centric jungle pick made to render physical team compositions useless and crimple attack speed reliant champions with a ground slam. He is pretty average in all aspects of jungling while also being very weak at ganking before he obtains his ultimate but becoming very strong once he does. His weaknesses prevent him from being a strong first pick and it is best to pick him last so the enemy team doesn't just avoid picking champions that would have been countered by Malphite. He is weak to early aggression since he cannot assist his teammates properly. He is also weak versus heavy magic team compositions. He is weak versus high mobility champions, though mostly only against champions that rely on blinks or in dashes rather than movement speed. He fits AoE team compositions very well, and honestly most team compositions in general since his initiation is very strong and simple. His item build is more reactionary, so you can't have one planned out. He has no core build and it just depends on what's going on in the game. As a personal recommendation, he's a really easy champion to learn and he's reliable at most team compositions, even if it isn't straight out countering somebody. So if you want to get into initiation and countering uh, specific champions, then go ahead and learn Malphite. 